Indirect DNA damage occurs when a UV photon is absorbed in the human skin by a chromophore that does not have the ability to convert the energy into harmless heat very quickly. This long lifetime leads to a high probability for reactions with other molecules, so-called bimolecular reactions. Melanin and DNA have extremely short excited state lifetimes in the range of a few femtoseconds, tens. The excited state lifetime of these substances is 1000 to 1 million times longer than the lifetime of melanin, and therefore they may cause damage to living cells that come in contact with them. Bimolecular reactions can occur either between the excited chromophore and DNA or between the excited chromophore and another species, to produce free radicals and reactive oxygen species. These reactive chemical species can reach DNA by diffusion and the bimolecular reaction damages the DNA, oxidative stress. It is important to note that indirect DNA damage does not result in any warning signal or pain in the human body. The bimolecular reactions that cause the indirect DNA damage are illustrated in the figure, O2 is reactive harmful singlet oxygen, singlet oxygen induced DNA damage Cantrell, and, McGarvey, David J., 2001. Lack of in vitro protection by a common sunscreen ingredient on UV induced cytotoxicity in keratinocytes. Light induced cytotoxicity and genotoxicity of a sunscreen agent, 2 phenylbenzimetazole in Salmonella tifamurium TA102 and 2 and Hakat keratinocytes. Photosensitization of the sunscreen octyl P-dimethylaminobenzoate BUVA in human melanocytes but not in keratinocytes.